I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Now I use the center drill to put a center in the end of the part. Then I'm going to go through it with a quarter inch drill to the depth that I need. And then I'll come in with a half inch drill and take it out to full size. Change the spindle RPMs. Quarter inch drill really wants to have 1250. Rule of thumb that I was taught, a one inch drill bit should be running at 360 RPMs in steel. Steel, each material is different, but in steel, a one inch drill bit runs at 360. For a quarter inch drill bit, it's four times that because it's one fourth the diameter. Got about a half inch to go, but I'm going to run out of travel with my tool. I'm going to slide it in, back the tool off about an eighth of an inch, tighten it down. Now that I'm going up to half inch diameter, I want to reduce that speed. I really only want to be about 500, 600 RPMs. Right 
about a sixteenth of an inch. Right on the money. Now I left my little I left myself a little room on the end of it. So I've got plenty of strength in there. I'm going to deburr that hole real quick. Check for the outside with a file. really just need to break the edge. You want to be really careful when you're using a file around a chuck. Even though it doesn't look like it can catch, you can knock your knuckles into those things and they hurt like the dickens. And you can also take this tool and spin it out of your fingers. Okay, with the job done, and the lathe unplugged, I can pull the part out of it. This lathe has a full set of gears for it, so I could cut the 3 8 thread using a single point tool. But it's really not that great a deal, and it's a lot of fiddling for a little thing like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut these with a die. Nice straight thread on there. Now I'm going to cut off. I made this thread just a little bit long. I'm going to cut some off of it so that I can run the chuck all the way down onto it and then that will be done.
there was a bit of junk stuck on the bottom of it. Well, that's good. Now we got a straight running chuck. Okay. Starting to get frustrated. Now that I've got a line scribed on there, I'm just going to tap two quarter twenty holes in it.
Okay. With both arbors turned, bored, threaded, and ready to have the holes drilled for the set screws, I need to drill two 1364 holes in each one. I have them mounted in the V block. I'm going to take them out in the garage and use the power drill. I'm not going to use those cheap Chinesium taps from Harbor Freight. That die set is really not the best. They worked, but not real happy with it. This is a good American made two flute tap. Slicing right through it just like it's supposed to. A little bit of brake cleaner, she's all shiny and new. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching.